In this video, not only do I want to find the sinusoidal regression like we did in the last video, I also want to uh, graph this on my calculator. So to begin this, I want to start by inputting my data. So just like before, select stat and then edit. And then uh, I put my data in already, so if you need to pause the video and do that, go ahead and do that. I notice I put in the day this time, so the 15th day, the, 60, the 46th day, the 74th day, and so on. And as the uh, days go on, as we get towards June, the days get longer and longer, so we have more daylight. And then we get shorter and shorter days, and so this data should go up and down and up and down and up and down, which means a sinusoidal regression should be the best uh, model to use for this data. So uh, once my data is typed in, just like before, let's go back to stat and calculate, and then find sine reg, uh, or sinusoidal regression, it's option C, it's way down in the list. Uh, so go ahead and press enter. If you see this screen pop up, just leave all these the same by default, you shouldn't have to change those. Uh, if you don't see that screen, just press enter again, otherwise go down to calculate. Uh, and it'll take a second, but uh, once it runs through, it'll get us our model that fits that data. So let me go ahead and uh, switch screens for a second on you, and I'll show you how to now get this graphed, and then we'll answer some questions uh, based on this model. All right, so here I've, I've gone ahead and rounded off those values a little bit to get this equation right here. Uh, let me show you, though, how to get this graph, uh, not only the scatter plot, but also the regression equation. I'll show you a couple new things. So um, first of all, the easiest way to see your scatter plot is to press Y equals. Uh, go up to plot one and, and press enter to turn that on. And then make sure there's nothing else typed in down here. So uh, I will now see my scatter plot, except my window needs to be adjusted. Uh, luckily, our calculator can make us a perfect window. Uh, press zoom and then option 9 is zoom stat and so as long as your scatter plot is turned on select option 9 and you should automatically see this window pop up where we see the days get longer uh, and then the days get shorter and then this wave would continue forever in both directions so there's my data uh, let me go ahead though and actually get my equation typed in and show you that our equation our curve actually fits this data almost perfectly uh, one thing that you do have to check too before I go any further uh, make sure uh, in mode you're in radian mode when you graph this if you're in degree mode it's not gonna look right so make sure you're in radian mode alright so there's two ways to do this uh, one way would be in y equals just type in your equation round it off with those values that would work fine it would be you know close enough but let me just show you one other way to get this typed in which uh, automatically types in the full thing without rounding off to a couple decimal places to do this in y equals uh, press the vars button uh, located next to the clear button and then since we're working with statistics select option 5 and then go over to EQ which stands for equation and you'll see your first option there is regression equation once you select that it's really cool it automatically puts in that last regression equation you found with all those decimals so it hasn't rounded it well it has rounded but it has rounded it to 10 decimal places so now when you hit graph remembering to be in radian mode you should see that your date your curve almost fits that data perfectly uh, the days get longer in the summer and then the days get shorter again in the winter and so on so there uh, we go. It's uh, really cool looking, I think. Uh, and then we can answer, let's you know, make a prediction. So based on this model we found, let's predict how many hours of daylight we can expect on May 25th, the uh, 145th day of the year. Well, one way to do this just algebraically would be to take 145 as your x value and just plug it in your equation, and that would get your answer just fine. Otherwise, uh, I'll show you a way you can do this with your uh, graph, which uh, you could also do something with your table too. Uh, but one way to do this would be to hit trace. And then we want to make sure we're on our graph, our curve. Right now I'm on the data. It says I'm on plot 1. So if you press up or down, it'll change. And now it says I'm on, on y1, which is that curve, that regression equation. And so once you're on that curve, just go ahead and type in 145 and press enter. And it'll jump to the 145th day of the year uh, when we would expect about 14.28 hours of daylight. Same answer you would have got if you plugged in um, 145 for x. Same thing you would get if you looked in your table and scrolled all the way down to 145, uh, about 14.82 hours of daylight. 